My name is Stuart Marcus, as uh, County Executive Mangano said and Paul Packer said. Uh, it's been my pleasure for six years now to uh, organize and, and host this concert. I was uh, all of 17 years old in July of 1981. Actually, not even 17, looking forward to being 17 a month later. Just starting to get to know the music of Harry Chapin and what he was all about. I missed a chance to see him at the Rochester War Memorial, that's where I grew up. Passed on it, figured he'll be touring around in coming years. Didn't know that I'd missed my last chance. And uh, since moving to Long Island, meeting an awful lot of people who are following in his footsteps, folk singers, songwriters, uh, it became my dream about eight years ago to do a show like this. We made it happen for the first time here in 2005. Got a great bunch of Long Island musicians, most of them singer-songwriters, most of them play on the local scene. And we look to Harry not only as a great example of a, a songwriter, but a person that used the fame that, uh, that he managed to achieve to try to make the world a better place. So often we hear about celebrities today and the most famous thing, or the, the biggest thing they're famous for is turning up in rehab or getting in trouble with the law or or mouthing off in public in a way that makes everyone want to make fun of them. Nobody could ever make fun of Harry Chapin. Half of those shows he did were for the benefit of somebody else. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce the first act. If we're ready to go, got him back there, Andy? Coming up will be Martha Trachtenberg and Andy Hunenberg. Together they make up half of the, the act Return to the Dream, which has been touring about on the local folk circuit and in the region. They're doing a song that'll kick off the evening called Remember When the Music. Some of you might know this song, Remember When the Music came in wooden boxes tied with silver wire. It talks about the days when music made a difference, when Harry was coming up, folk rock was in its prime, and the folk tradition is to sing songs about the plight of ordinary people. Try to make the world a better place. Try to make the average listener aware of what some people might be going through that they might not even know about. So I always like to kick off the concert with this song. Martha and Andy are ready. Together with Judith Wyman, their guest vocalist, come on out. Let's start the show. <laughs> 